Welcome to Art at Home with the Mushroom Museum and Art Gallery. Clay can be used to make all kinds of things like pots, cups, mugs, everything. We have a lot of clay pieces in our latest exhibition, Fire in the Belly, made by women artists. Let's look at some of the work from this exhibition. The piece we're looking at here is made by Beth Hone. Look at the way that she drew on this piece. These are created by Marilyn Levine. Do you see how earthy these look? This piece here is created by Sandra Lettingham. Now that we've been inspired by some artist's work, let's get into some clay. All we need today is air dry clay or Play-Doh, a container of water and an old toothbrush. We are going to learn about the basics of making a pinch pot. Let's start by rolling our clay into a ball. You can roll it, you can squeeze it into a ball. Now once we have our circle made, we're going to push our thumb in, but not all the way through. And then we're going to make almost a duck hand and squeeze all the way around, making our circle wider and wider and wider. Do you need a closer look? Let's do it again. Put your thumb in, push a hole in, and then you're going to go like a duck quacking all the way around, making your circle wider and wider and wider. Now that we have our shape, let's make the top nice and flat. So putting it upside down and moving it and pressing it onto our table. Now, once you do that, your shape might be lost a little bit. So let's reshape that and make it the shape that we want it to be. Now your clay might be a little bit crackly and have some cracks all over it. So we're going to use our toothbrush. You can even use your finger and you're gonna put some water on there and then smear it around and it's gonna make it nice and smooth. And you can do this on the outside as well as the inside of your pot. The great thing about clay is that if you don't like it, you can totally just restart. So feel free to do that. Now maybe you want to add some texture to your pot. I've got this stamp here and I'm just gonna roll it around. I kinda want mine to look more rustic and not totally perfect because I'm gonna use it for a plant. Instead of a stamp, maybe you wanna do some etching or carving into it like Beth Hone did. Maybe you want yours to be nice and smooth like Sandra Lettingham. If you're using Play-Doh, keep rolling your Play-Doh into a ball and keep making your own pinch pots. If you're using air dry clay, take your clay and set it on the counter and let it dry out for a couple of days when you have the finished pinch pot that you wanna keep. Here is my finished product. We hope you enjoyed learning how to make a pinch pot. Make sure you check back for more at home art videos and also check out our website at www.mjmag.ca for upcoming events and news about our latest exhibitions. Make sure you check out Fire in the Belly at the Moose Museum and Art Gallery.